first graders. It's good to be talking to you again. Um, I hope that you had a good first week of learning. Now we're on to our second week and hopefully this week will be even easier because we'll have a better idea of what we're doing. So this week when you look at your videos you're going to see three videos from me. A week two part one, part two, and part three because I learned last week that if I try to put it all on one video um, it doesn't uh, download. So we have three videos but it'll be about the same length of time all together. So the first video we're going to work on saying our um, letter sounds. The second video we're going to be writing words which I promised you last week we would do and then the third video will be me reading a story to you. So let's start by going through our um, letter cards and today we're just gonna say the letter sounds okay so I'll I'll give you a chance to say them at home and then I'll say them here and you can say them again a second time with me if you want here we go ready mmm oh qua k z mm. before we left um, school and some of us did not. So a couple of us spent some time with um, E, E when they show up together in a word and they make the sound E. And the reason they say E is because they are two vowels next to each other. E is a vowel, right? Let's practice our vowels right now. Get your clappers ready. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Sometimes Y. All the other letters that are not a vowel are a consonant. Our vowels are our hardest workers. So remember, those are the ones that we read the secret stories about them being superheroes. Because they can do two things. They can say their sound, like E can say E, eh, or it can say its name, E. And we learned the little rhyme, when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. That's not always true, but a lot of times it's true. So when we see two E's together, the first sound we're going to try is E, because that first... Um, Letter E is going to say its name, okay? It's going to do the talking. So I have a couple words here that we can practice with two E's. So we have this word. Try to sound that out at home. Let's try it together. Deep. What's the word? Deep. Like a swimming pool can be deep in the, on the deep end. Two E's. I'm going to say E. Let's look at this word. Try to sound this one out by yourself. Okay, together. Peak. That's the word peak, like I might peak inside of a uh, present. What about this one? Feet. Word feet. And this last one, we've got a blend right here. What are we going to say? If we're going to blend T and R, we're going to say tr. And this word is tree. Good job. Are two E's together the only way to make that E sound in a word? Nope. We've learned some other ways. So you might have a word like this. This is the word peat, where there's a magic E at the end. That E is silent, but it makes this letter E say its name. So vowel, consonant, vowel. This is the word peat, and we hear that E sound. We have words like me, where there's an E at the end all by itself, and it says E instead of saying eh, the word me. And then we have a word like this with two vowels in the middle. An E and an A, because A is a vowel too. Two vowels going walking. The first one's going to do the talking, so the first one's going to say its name. This is the word leak. So there are other ways for words to have the E sound. It's just that today we're working on um, E, E together. Okay? So let's go through our sound real quickly. I'll point to the sound and um, hopefully remember to give you a chance to say it at home, and then we'll say it together. Okay? E, K, E. J, k, e, k, a, h, 
each k er e k j er b a e k ch s k a e k er Good job, first graders. Okay, we're going to end this video. In video two, you're going to need either a pencil and paper or um, a marker and a whiteboard, and we're going to write some words, okay? So if you have time right now, you can go ahead and, and turn on video two, and if not, do it another time during the week when you've got time, okay? So I will see you soon. Bye-bye.